Welcome back, people. This one is a challenge, a big, big challenge. I'm putting myself out there, really, to try and recreate one of these. This is an old white banknote that, uh, okay, I'm just doing this as a piece of art, okay? <laughs> I'm not claiming I'm going to be a rich man after this. Either way, I'm going to try and recreate, because it's got copper plates, see? got copper plates you've got majority of it is copper plate so that there i think is is a uh gothic script the 1000 there is also a gothic script and then the rest of it all of it is copper plate and then this bit here which is like an effigy or something um what i've done is i've got a tracing paper i've traced it the best i can uh, and as you can see i've it might work. I'm going to try my best to make this work, okay? But we haven't got to that stage yet. Um, I'm going to try and copy. I don't know about this effigy over here. So I might just do my own oval of some kind and put like an R in there. Do you know, R for Royal. So I might do R for Royal and then uh, surround it with probably swirls or something. I don't know yet I'm, I'm, how I'm going to do that one. But I spent the next, the, well, the last two and a half hours perfecting this template, as you can see. Okay. And I've got it now. I've cut another piece exactly the size of a banknote. So this is the size of a banknote. Okay. The actual size. And it's a little bit bigger than, than this picture because of the fact that this has been smalled down and scrunched down. This bit at the bottom is just the reverse of that of that image so that is exactly what we i'm going to try to recreate now okie okay, i've got my pointed nib for the copper plate and i've got this i think this if i've done it correctly is a naught is it naught point it's a it's a one it's a roughly just over one millimeter nib so just over one millimeter nib so it should work. So let's put the copper plate out the way and let's have a go at this B. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this because that B doesn't look like copper thingy. So I was thinking the closest I can get to it is this B here from the Batard Capitals. So I'm going to put the Batard Capital B in there and then do and then follow those things there. I'm going to do that. And I don't try and make it perfect, people. I just want to make it look okay. So is my pen working? Yes. Come on. Show me. Show me. Come on. Ink. Thank you. Get in there, son. Come on, work. Oh, don't let me down now, son. Oh, it's let me down. My pen's let me down. Come on. You're working damn so and the b starts about there so if i start my b i put the b there number b you can't see that but i'm going to put it there i put it there anyway the a's the a for the it's going to start this side of the, on the line so i've got to give myself a little bit of room so the first stroke i know is this one And it stops there. Then we have uh, this stroke that comes off this. And then it comes down. And then out. And then in. Okay. And then we have to formulate this line. That curves inward. And bring that in. That's perfect. I think it is anyway. Then we have this line that comes over and over. And then we have this line that comes in. That's not too bad. And then this line comes over and joins this. And that's my uh, B. If it works, of course. Then we got this A shape, which then comes down here. 
that. We then come down to this point here and we come over. And then this comes over. We do a little curve. We then come down on that eye, the A. Yeah. And then we do another one and over. That's not too bad. Then the N comes over and down. And we have to give it a little noggin. And then it comes over, over, down, little noggin. And then we have the K, which is a long stem. I don't know how to do a long stem. Uh, I'm going to do it like this, straight down first, where I want it to be, where I want it to be. And then we're going to put that little noggin there. Swirl that around. That's the best I can do. And then we do this shape. We could bring it round. And then we come off and out. Not bad. Not brill either. Now let's do the O. I think that comes over like that, doesn't it? And then down over. Then it comes down and over. That's not too bad. And then the funny F, but I'll do I'll do it like this. I'll bring that F down a little bit and give it a little noggin. Yeah, and then curve him over. And then it has to have this line. Do you know what people? That's not bad. Bang of, hey, I haven't added the swirls yet and things like that. Now, the capital E are very closely related to this E here. If you look at that E, I'm going to use the same, same script of the Batard capitals, Batardi capitals. I'm going to use that E as my E, okay? Let's get that bad boy in. Hopefully... The D has to finish roughly on that line. You can't actually see that line, but I'll show you that line here. You can see that line there. The OV is one letter out. Not too bad. As long as it finishes roughly on that line or just past that line, I will be a happy, happy man. So let's put that capital C in there. So it starts with a half a moon. Is me pen still working? Yes, it is. So the C has to be over here at the same height. So, and it has to start like here and then curve it in. Okay. Oh God, I'm shaking here, people. That's not, I'll buy that. And then we have this, it comes off this, doesn't it? It needs to come a little bit more that way. Okay. Then it comes down. And then curves in. Okay, let me try that. And curves in. Not bad. Then it has this move. Okay, not too bad. And then it from that, we then curve outwards. And then we add this move, which is just below that. And then... And that's the what I call the uh, Batardi E. And then we have to go back to this one here and we're going to do that N again. So we're going to try and get it close to it. And it has a little nog in there. And then we have this. And then it curves in again. Then we come down with a little nog in. Come on, nog in little noggin and then we have this funky g which is virtually the same thing in it but instead we do that curvy g this is a tough one people we have to do this okay it's not too bad then we do this and then for some unknown reason we come down and swirl do you know what i'll just take that as is <laughs> I'll take that as is. And then we have a long L. 
it's almost the same size as the capital so i'm going to go like this i'm going to put it there close to the g with a little foot out and then curve him in then we have this a shape again that comes down with a little noggy and then we come over we come down that then connects to this and that has a noggin then we have another noggin here for the another n okay we're a little bit out but not too bad a little noggin that comes out and then we have this funky d i think we're going to start it like this it's got to start up here okay that's not too bad and then this curves around and forms the d do you know what people <laughs> i'll i'll buy that for a dollar hey i am liking that people touch and doing okay i've not added the swirls and things like that but uh it's not far off is it i'll take that I'll take that. I just wanted a, 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 an almost near thing. You know what I mean? Near it. <sighs> Breathe. Let that, let that dry a little bit. Um, I won't need that again. Don't think I do. Because I'm going to try and copy the best I can for the 1000. Which would be di almost like that. So I won't need this book. Get rid of him. We can move this piece over here. Bring that into play. Just pan out a little bit so you can see it. I'm going to start with this funky P over here because that P is a funny P, and it's um, it's all. I'm going to just do the capital P. Where's the P and over P? I'm going to do that capital P there, and then perhaps add the odd swirl after when it's fully dried. So either way, I'm going to do the copper plate P, and I'm going to put the copper plate book and representation over there so i can't get it wrong the wording for the actual thing is because you can't actually see it on there because you put these numbers on it and things like that so the actual that three lines of text says promise to pay the bearer on demand the sum of the amount one pound or one thousand and then underneath one thousand pounds and then the numbers on, on the thick the third line is the actual 1918 May, the 20th London, 20 May 1918. So I've got the I've got the number. I've got what I need to write in copper plate. That's there. I don't, I've got I have to start the P now. Uh, the P has to start. Where's that thing gone? Uh, not that one. Where's that one? The P starts roughly then on the. Four and a half line. I think I did that line, didn't I? Four and a half line. There it is. So that line there is where the P is going to start. That that line there is where the P is going to start. Happy days. These are all my guidelines, see. And if I've done this all correct, the P is going to start on the that line there, and I've got to bring that P up from that line there down. Hopefully, let's open up the ink. Hopefully not get anywhere, anything anywhere. Not too bad. Okie cokey. Let's move that room out of the way. I could have cut all this out, but unless you see how I do it, you're not going to see me actually achieve it in live sense. I'm just going to have a little swig of my tea. Before I start the copper plate. Um... Where's that thing gone? There you are. A little puff of me seg, and then we'll start the copper plate, people. Right. Copper plate ready. And the P is... It, oh, where's the P gone? Now there. I'm going to have to come down on that, aren't I? And then form that swirl after. Fair dues. Let's prep the nib. Come on, prep the nib. Get the first few strokes out of the way. 
and we are, I think, ready. If I make a mistake or a blodge happens, I'm just going to keep on. I'm going to go through it and just try and get, go round it. OK, people, let me just get the first, maybe the first blob out of the way. So it's on that line there. So the P has to start here and the P starts there, does it? So I'm going to come down on that from there to there. I'll, I'll take that, people. I'll take that. And then we have to formulate the swirl over here. Yes. Well, you could do it this way or you can do it that way. So I might go that way. It won't work. Do you know what, people? I'm just going to accept that as my P. I did want to bring that through, but I'm just going to accept that as my P. And then we need the an R, an R. And of course, the R starts like this. Let me have another dip. The R starts. Let me get rid of the first dip and get rid of that crap. So the R has to start like this with a strong down. And then we go... Oh, paper, don't let me down now. And then we have to do this O shape. So it's prom, yeah, O. Not bad. And then the M is, um, I think it's. And then we come up for the E. It? Oh, it's an I. Well, I'll make that into an I. <laughs> I've already messed up. Oh, oh ink. What are you doing to me? That, I'm going to assume, is not too bad. Yeah, I've, I've messed up with that E, but I'm just going to keep going. So, two... They do have lead in strokes for the two. So. And then we have the O. Not too bad. And then we have a, a, a lowercase p, which I know is. Um, and then we have an A. Hopefully you can see that, people. And then we have this funky Y shape. That's not too bad. And then we've got uh, the, so we have to do another lead in stroke. And then that comes up. Looks like a bit small, that, doesn't it? That's better. The bearer, isn't it? So the bearer, B. Is it capital B or lowercase b? Let's have a look. It's a capital B, so the capital B is that one. So we have to have a capital B. That's one of these again, isn't it? So that's... Uh, oh, come on, ink. And then you do this move. Capital B, yeah. We have to do this move. Okay, not the best, <laughs> not the best beer I've ever made, but hey, I'm just going to keep on going, people. My first ever attempt. 
and then we need the EA so we have to do a little upstroke from there uh, and then this R shape and then the E shape back to another R shape on demand damn i've got enough room i'll have to do the on bit here then i won't have enough room to do the on bit but you know not too bad not brilly either but it's my first ever attempt people Okay, don't don't laugh at me. I'm gonna have to put demand below it. Can I put demand on that on the end? Even if I put a lower D on there, it won't it won't fit on. So let's put it below it. Uh, on demand, I'll put it. It should be fine. Where's the next one there? So the, the demand can go on there then. So I'll, I'll, is it demand? Capital D and all. Shit. Uh, up here then, isn't it? It comes up here. And then you have to do that, that swirly thing again. It's not too bad. And then the E shape has to sit on that line doesn't it so and then we have this M that then goes to the A then then, then goes to the N And then that goes to the D shape. Come on, paper. Don't let me down now, son. Can you see that? Only just. Now you want the demand. Hey. I'll buy that for a dollar, people. Okie dokie. There's the promise to pay the bearer on demand. Okay. The. So we can go again. With an upstroke for the I can't get in there without touching the ink so we're gonna go there I'm gonna bring it real close the sum and is it capital I think I'll just put the S in as is what is the capital S let's have a look is that the capital S? Shit. Uh, where do you start with that? Uh, the sum. I'm going to go nice and big down here. And then two up, one big swirl. Oh, come on now. I've got dip. That's not too bad. And then this one is going to curve around and come through and then we have the upstroke okay we're getting somewhere people the sum so now we have the, an M and then we have of so that would be the O and then we have this F don't we? Yeah, the F, remember rightly, is always oh, the lowercase F going now. F, 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 there it is. So we're going to have to go like that. That's it. Get some more ink in. Okay, people. We have to come off. Oh, come on. Of, and then we have to do a full key this shape of 
Mmm. I don't like it. Is that it now? Some of. Now we start with the. Uh, I'll leave that as it is. And we move back to. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not brill either. Uh, let's go with the. Now we've got to go with the 1000 bit here. There's three lines of text. Oh yeah, we've got the, uh, the 1918 bit after that. This is tough, people. This isn't easy. So now we need to write in the one. And I'm pretty certain... The... Let's have a look. Come on. One. I think it comes down. I think it comes like... Uh... It comes down here like this. And then swirls in like that. And then this one goes over turns over like that and then this comes down with a thingy right this then has a little foot that then comes across that's not too bad and then it has this little noggin at the side here which it has now then it has two lines that come parallel with it and it's got one line that comes over yeah not too bad that and then we have the n for the one so that's um again that has a little noggin at the bottom little noggin and that curves around and comes up that's right and then we have this e shape which is basically straight down Straight down and then over a noggin and then come on show me E and it comes over it like that and over A have I got it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I might just be able to count get one thousand in. This is tough. This is tough. Now this 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 is the hard one. I'm going to have to curve around like that. Then it has this. Is that finished there? That finishes below that. Like that. Then it has a funky line that comes. Oh, hang on. Come on. No, 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 no. A line that does this. And then it has this. something that looks like that do you know what people i'm going to accept it i'm just going to accept that as is then we have this funky h shape which it it's close to this and it has a little yes it has a little nog in there that's not too bad and then it has this and then curves around on itself that's not too bad and then we have this funky o shape Okay. That's not too bad. But the U, does that start with the noggin? No, it starts like this. Okay. And then comes over. That starts like this. And then comes over and has a noggin. And then we have this funky A S shape, which I'm assuming does this, this. And comes over this thing does that move and then this comes off curves around and then you do you come over to it oh ho, 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 ho. i've got to fit three in there damn this is going to be tough this is going to be tough people then we have to fit in the, uh, I think, I think, I think, based on this try, first try, this nib's too big. This nib is way too big for the job. And, uh, yeah, I could have perhaps edged it this way a little bit. It's not going to look like that, people. Nowhere near it, but I'm going to try my best anyway. I'm not going to fit those three in there, am I? Am I? Let's face it, let's, let's try the A. Let's try and get it closer to the S. 
suddenly it's got it, they've changed the design for the A. Something like that. And then the N, which is the same sort of N. Come on. Little noggin. And then we have this funky D that goes like that, does it? Come on, work. Okay. And it comes off, around, and in. Do you know what, people? It's a bit scrunched up over this corner. Well, I'm just going to have to, have to accept it. Uh, and then we have to write, go back to copper plate now. That, that'll do for that then. That didn't work. Not really. Well, let's go to the copper plate. I'm just going to have to put pounds down here, aren't I? That's, that's that. There's that, that there. So put pounds here. I've got two people. That's it. Okay, and then we have to start that swirl down here. That's it. Happy days. It's been tough, people. It has. And then we do the O shape, which is that. And then we do the U shape. And then we do the N shape. And then the D shape. That's right, isn't it? I think it is. I've got the lowercase D looks like that. Just crying out. That's it. Thank you. And then we have to do the S shape. Okay. It still gets it all on, but iffy. Then we have to write the, the date. Oh God. Then I'm going to write the date in here, number 1918. Okay. Then uh, the nine. So. And then the one again. The eight's going to be a bit iffy. That's not too bad. 1918. Yeah. I'll, what I'll do is I'll add lib and I'll just put May, right? London. I'll put May as in. Okay, I'll add lib a little bit and I'll uh, change the style a little bit. Hopefully you can see that, people. Hopefully then. Hey, that'll do. Not Brill, May London. I've got that L, I've got a capital L. What's a capital L? There it is. So it's going to go like that, is it? Fair dues. Not too bad. That goes to the O. So nice O shape. And then it goes to the N, doesn't it? London. Yeah, N shape. A bit too much ink there, but that I don't mind that. And then the D shape again. And then back to the O shape. Uh, and back to the N shape. Not too bad, not too shabby either. I'll take that. And now we have to write 1918 again on the end. So, 19. So, I had to do that one. Yeah, it started like that, didn't I?
and then the one again that's it and then i think i started like like this do you know what people i'm just going to say that's done i don't like this bit over here but we can't go back can we we just can't go back we're just going to have to stick with it nothing like theirs it's my <laughs> nowhere near it but i'm just going to have have a go at this so the next line is going to be a bit going to be a bit iffy i'm going to have to start it here aren't i that's where the center is so it's there is it so it's going to start like there with a bit of a gap for the gov and comp What's the capital F looks like? Well, their F is different to the capital F of copper plate. They've got different types of uh, scripts into this. So let's go with the capital F anyway. What my capital F looks like anyway. So it comes down here. And I fit all that there. Or from the centre. Damn. Um, I'll just add lib a little bit and I'll come off, this, come off the centre. Come on. Come on, work. Don't let me down now, mate. Just dipped you. Yeah, F, 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 there, thank you. Okay, and then we have to do the swirly thing here, and then over, okay. That'll do. And then we have this swirly here. That was tough. Then we have to have the uh, foot O, the O shape. Coming off for the R shape. Hey, that will do. Not Brill. The. So we're going to go with the. Oh, what happened here? Oh, it's all gone. It's all gone. Pitong, people. I've gone a little bit large. <laughs> I didn't know where how to do that bottom bit there. For the for the gov and comp, I'm gonna fit all that on there. I don't know. I can't put ink anywhere, people. For the gov, I've got right gov. I'll put a G in there, my G. And then a nice big O. That comes to the, the V shape. Hopefully, people, that looks not too bad for the Gov and Comp. So... And a small C. Comp, 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 C, 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 where's the C? Yeah, right, okay. This is, this is tough. This is real tough. And then the O shape. And then an M shape. You can you see that? Only just. I've got something tickling my ear. That's not good. Okay. And then we have this funky P shape. Hey, not brill. We're not. Mm, I don't know, people. It's tough. This has been tough of the Bank of England. So I'm going to go a little bit back to fit all that off. Of the Bank of England. Of. So it's the. An O shape. There's the F shape, which is, I think. 
What's their reference like? Okay, fair dues. So we're going to go. Something like that. There's F is. That's that. That's there of. And then we have the. Uh, the. Not brill, not with this bloody paper, and then the bank. So it's going to the B, capital B. So that comes if you remember right. We have to do the B shape, and then we have to do this swirly thing. It comes down and curves. Not too bad. Can I fit all of it on though? That's the question. A. So uh, you do this. And then a K. What's that K look like? Okay, fair dues. I'm going to do with that K. Not too bad. Of. So yeah, of. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to do another O shape. And then the F shape, which then comes off this. Like that. Okay. And then we have a capital E, don't we? Do you know the E? That E is a. Oh, I, this is my nemesis. Oh, shh. The England. Right, what are we? Has to start life there, does it? So, and then round, turn it. So you know what? I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Damn, this has been tough. And then we have an N, which then we just do go, go nice and straight there. And then we have a nice G shape. That goes to the L shape. I'm not going. That goes to the A shape. That goes to the N shape. And then I might even get the D in, but I don't know. Let's put it in anyway. Do you know what? Oh, not too bad. I'll take that, people. Wow. That's been tough. That's been tough, people. Real tough. I've got to let that now dry. Right? And for you, it's going to happen in 3, 2, 1. And then we can add maybe then the final two pieces of these two pieces. This piece and this piece. Okay? Or my effigy anyway. And then we'll add some swirls and make it look real snazzy. So I'll see you guys when this is dried in three, two, one. Welcome back, people. It's totally dry. I've already prepped my uh, scan of this thing. And that's going to sit roughly there. If I can get that in the right place-ish. How they fit this together, I don't know. But it's my first ever attempt, people. So, that has to come a little bit up then, about there then, away from the of bit. Okay, it's my interpret my interpretation of I'm trying my best here, people. I'm going to say that's it. Okay, that's it. Give us me 0 0.4. That's the one I want. Come on, Ned. Yeah, a bit. Let's try and get these little things in. Hopefully people I get this in and it looks and it's transferred onto this thing otherwise I've I've knackered it
as long as it looks like it or almost like it Okay, cokey we're getting hopefully it, it is transferring on the paper if it's not then we've got i've got a problem but hopefully it is people and i've gone i've done this correct as long as it looks like it I'll be a happy, happy man. It's all gone a bit pitong there, but as long as it sort of looks like it, I'm going to be happy. I can't lift it up yet. I just can't do it. Now let's try this other bit over here. This is going to be... This is going to be tough. I just can't get that right. All I can do is try my best. That's all I can do. Oh, all going pitong there. It's got to be right there. Come on. Get that swoosh, that big swoosh in. That might look right now. Join them up. Okay, that's not too bad. It might be okay after. Okay. And then this big swoosh here. Over there. Okay, this swoosh into here and join them up. And then this swoosh has come over and joined that line. And then this swoosh here. Let's lift it. <laughs> you can't see that, people. <laughs> Hopefully, you can, if I zoom in, you can see it now. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Just going to make that reality with this same pen without making any mistakes now. Hey, I'll turn it round and see if we can make that clearer. Hopefully, people, you can see it now. Yeah? Yeah, you can. Only just. So, I'm committed. I'm all in. Not too bad. And that comes around the ear to form a little curve. It isn't very clear. I'm just going to add lib a little bit to try and get that in. I can't see where that goes, so I'm just going to come in and around and form a shape of some sorts. That's not too bad. And then this effigy over here and then these effigies not too bad I said I did say I was going to add lib not too bad I can't even see where that comes down and then that is that big D shape, isn't it? I'll, I'll take it. I don't, I'll take it. Doesn't doesn't read anything. I don't think it needs to really, does it? Um, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna put it in anyway as a little hole in. Now we've got to try and get try and formulate these ad lib on these circles a little bit. Hmm. 
that and then that add, goes around like that okay and then we add these little swirls here and then this joins with this this joins with this okay let me try something else then this comes over and around and this comes over and this joins this one and comes around this joins this one that joins that one i think well if i've messed up i've messed up do you know what people i'm gonna say that's done <laughs> hey i'll take it i'll take that as is I won't even do any rubbing out, I'll just leave it like that. Now we're going to try and formulate uh, some some colours. So I'm going to go in, in like that, nice and solid with the colours. I can see that's all black. It's tough, isn't it? It's the toughest challenge I've ever acted, I've ever attempted. And then and then some more black stuff here. This is this will be black. And this will be black. And I think okay, let me have a look. I think that will be black and all. Yeah, that's black. Can you see that people? Only just. Okay, that's black. I think this is black in here. Leaving that, uh, nowhere near it, nowhere, nowhere near it, but I'll just take it. And then you've got to keep that swirl in there, don't you? Well, I'll just make it a little bit more blacker there. I'm ad-libbing here, people. I'm just ad-libbing. It should be fine. Um, I think I might carry on that in a min, away from everything. I think I might just leave it out, like, you know, people. Yeah, sorry. It's my version. <laughs> Put some swirls in, should be fine. Now, what, what about this R shape? What about this R shape? Let's try an R shape. I can see I've done it all, not all wrong, but some wrong. I'm going to take the paper clips off, people, and come out. I'm going to make it look kind of cool. Get rid of this template now, which isn't far off this template, but nowhere near. Uh. I need that funky R shape going in. I think I'm going to do an R shape. Um, what's the capital R for? That'll do. That capital R for the uh, thingy. So it starts like here, comes down and curves around. I'll do it. I'll do copper plate with this and see if it works. Does it work? Is it working? No. Come on. Work. Work. Oh yeah. The pen's decided to say no, I'm not working for you. Right, what we've we got over here? This will do. What have we got in my little box of tricks? Ah does this one work? Let's try this one. I don't care what colour it is, as long as it's not pink. No, that's all dry and cakey. Oh cheers, mate. Uh, who is that shape? There's that uh, crusty pen. Does that work? That's a nice nib. Oh, that's gone a bit crusty. Is that why well, it's gone crusty? So, what's this green one? Has this got ink in? No, no ink in that one. Oh, shizer. Um, where's that other one? The pen nib. Yeah, no. There it is. What's this one? Is this one working? No. Oh dear, dear, dear. Could I use this parallel pen? It's a bit big, isn't it? It looks like we can, people. I'm parallel penning it. <laughs> Get rid of this thing. This thing works. So sod it. I'm all in. If I balls it up, I balls it up. So it comes down. I'm going to use a parallel pen. Sod it. So I'm going to come down. 
come down and then I'll, I'll come in with the airline after, hopefully. Not too bad. How am I going to form that then? I'm going to form my own little R. It's not bad, is it? Now, we're going to wrap that up. Okay, people. That's if it's going to work, of course. I don't, I don't mind that at all. Uh, we now need to formulate an oval around it. I think I might use this pen here. As long as I get centre... Well, then again, people, what we could do is, yeah, I like the idea of that even more. Sod the oval. Is this going to start working now? Please work. It's working, it's working. I've got this idea of doing this, but I might be wrong in thinking it. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bugger. Okay. Well, work then. Oh, you. Ah. No point there, that one. We'll try this 0 0.4 and see if I can't go over that line. Do you know what, people? I'll take that. There. I'm happy with that, people. Yeah. Not not overly happy, but it's my first ever attempt. <laughs> Should we put some swirls into it? Let's have a look at these swirls. I might use the same pen, you know, people. Because I know I haven't done it right. I know I've not done it correct or perfect. So it's my... My version, oh, we've got, we haven't got put the uh, chief cashier down here. So you've got to put chief down here somewhere. So I'll put it here then. Is it? Yeah. Chief cashier, so it goes. And then cash. And then I. There. Chief cashier at the bottom. And then someone signs it. There. <laughs> someone signs it. Hey. Eh? But I don't know, people. It's been tough. I don't think I eat, I'm not going to even attempt those those swirls. I don't know what you think. It's my first ever attempt. It's all dry. Is it a fail? I don't know. That's tough. That's tough. Let's put those two together. Let's move that book out the way. I don't know, people. I've had enough. My head's frazzled and I didn't really achieve it. But I did achieve something. Do you know what I mean? So it's not too bad. I have got something that looks like a banknote. Do you know what I mean? It's up to you, people. If you like my first ever attempt and this tough, tough, tough challenge, uh, let me know. I don't know. Thanks for watching all the way through if you have. And if you've got any tips on how to do one of these, <laughs> let me know. But there's my first ever attempt, people. Thanks for watching and I'll see you, see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.